hey guys welcome to this new video and uh, in this video we'll be checking out some power bi interview questions and how you can answer them in an interview these questions have been asked in capgemini uh, interview and you know capgemini is mnc company so let's get started uh, with the first question and how you can answer that okay so first question is can we use username and user principal name in static rls so you have to answer like this no we cannot use this function in static rls but we can use in dynamic as these function allow us to filter data dynamically based on users credential so you have to give the example like what username will give and what user principal name will give so username returns the domain slash username format while user principal name returns the user's email address okay so next question is does power bi maintain or store historical data and how no power bi itself does not store historical data however i can work with data sources that maintain historical data such as data warehouse or an azure sql database i can also set up snapshots or use power bi data flows uh, to store historical data over time so in this way you have to answer that no power bi doesn't have any feature like to store any historical data but yes after we connect to azure sql database or some data warehouse uh, or some sql we can set up uh, some tables for the historical data and then we can import those tables into the power bi for our reporting purposes or we can use the premium feature like power bi data flows to store historical data over time okay so let's move on to next question so third question is is it possible to create drill down or drill up on a three fact table so you know that all the fact tables in the power bi doesn't have any relationship right so if you have the fact table it doesn't necessary that those fact tables are connected to each other so you have to answer in this way yes it's possible to create drill down and drill up functionality on multiple fact table i would achieve this by setting up the appropriate relationship between fact table and shared dimension table then using hierarchies so this setup allow users to navigate between different levels of data across those fact tables smoothly so those fact table should be connected should be have relationship between those fact tables those three fact tables then only we can create a relationship it means then only we can create a drill down or drill up functionality okay so let's move on to the next question if there are constant applied on a table does primary key and foreign key affect in power bi so no power bi doesn't enforce any primary key or foreign key constraint directly you can create relationship between those tables without needing to flow database constraint however it's essential to establish relationship between the tables in the data model correctly to ensure accurate reporting constraint only impact the database not in power bi okay so this question you have to answer like this that uh, in uh, we don't have to apply the constraint in the power bi uh, through the primary key and the foreign key we can apply basically through the relationship okay so the fifth question which asked in recent capgemini interview is if we are taking data from dv table has 6k rows and table got truncated leaving only 1k rows does power bi have all the six rows from the table so you have to answer in this way if i have imported the data into power bi it will retain the 6k rows until the next data refresh after the refresh power bi will reflect the current 1k rows from the source if i am using direct query mode power bi will always display the latest data so as soon as the table is truncated power bi will only show 1k rows so if you have imported the data till the next refresh it will show 6k but if you have using direct query it will always show the data which is there in the db so only 1k rows will be given so sixth question is how will you identify the type of licenses looking at the workspace 
and what is the size of typical workspace so you have to answer in this way i can identify the type of licenses by going to the workspace setting in power bi and if it's a premium workspace it will display an indicator using diamond okay while a pro work workspace doesn't have any icon the size of the workspace depend on the license type in pro data sets are limited to 1 gb while in premium they can go up to 400 gb so you have to answer like in pro it will be 1 gb but in uh, premium it can go up to 400 gb and yes we can check uh, the type of workspace using uh, uh, looking at the workspace by checking uh, which icon is there next to the workspace name okay so what is unit testing in power bi do you do report validation how do you do do that so interview want to check how you do the power bi testing basically your report testing in this question so unit testing in power bi involve testing individual components such as dex measures calculated columns and relationship so i perform report validation by checking if the data in the report matches the source data also i will validate all visuals filters and interactions are functioning as expected i often compare power bi results with the source directly so how you compare it so for example if you have a sql database you can compare the results by querying some some of the uh, some of the basically kpis uh, which is you have to compare the kpis which is there in the power bi and also you can query the same at the database so that you can match if the results are coming correctly okay so in this way you have to do unit testing after developing your power bi reports okay so next question is did you do any automation so you have to put like yes i have implemented automation in power bi using schedule refreshes and power automate to trigger certain action so you, you can use like power automate for automation uh, so to trigger uh, like some emails um, when some action have been performed on the database also you can do schedule refresh also uh, you can set an alert in the power bi uh, uh, service basically okay so the next question is what is dual mode so dual mode is basically refers to a table in power bi that can be configured to use both import and direct query modes and basically this is used in composite model this allow me to balance between the performance using import and real-time data using direct query okay so these all 10 questions are very much necessary uh, and have been asked in capgemini interview basically so like my video subscribe it uh, the subscribe the channel uh, for latest updates on more interview questions like these thank you bye bye